the suppression or independence of South Sudan. Report from Tim Friends. The Labour Party has changed its policy on the fiscal charter. That's the government's plan to commit to running a budget surplus in the good times. In other words, in the future, governments will be legally prevented from spending more than they receive in tax revenue when the economy is growing. The Shadow Chancellor, John McDonnell, had said Labour might support the measure, but has changed his mind. He now says the party will vote against it later this week to un underline Labour's anti-austerity stance. Instead, he says he'll put forward an alternative plan for budget responsibility. But there are reports tonight of Labour MPs being less than supportive of the change at a meeting of the Parliamentary Party. Well, Liam Halligan's an economist who writes the Daily Telegraph, and Anastasia Nesvetilova is a professor of political economy at City University and a member of John McDonald's Economic Advisory Committee. I asked her if the Shadow Chancellor was right to reject the fiscal charter. There are two reasons, one intellectual, one political. Uh, let's start with the political. You do not want to delete a policy option out of your choice of manoeuvres when the country is facing a crisis, or to be honest, in any eventuality. So um, a budget deficit or the ability to fund public projects or to ability to manoeuvre is extremely important. And to bind yourself by something artificial, by an artificial target or a, an ideological principle is very short-sighted strategic. So that's the political side. Intellectually though, um, the idea of signing this charter, or the idea of running a surplus, is um, based on a very old-fashioned 19th century principle of economics. It's very limited and it's very primitive and it suggests that a state should be run like a household budget, whereas a state today, and especially a very advanced financialized economy of the 21st century UK, doesn't run like a household, it has much more resources than a household, it also has much more obligations or liabilities. So these comparisons don't make any sense in that 